What's going on guys? I'm your host Miguel coming at you with the review of the IKEA Milberg Get chair. That is a mouthful. <laughs> I was actually in the need of getting an upgrade. I had a basic chair that I was using for my computer needs and I'll just say it's not worth. So I ended up going on Ikea and found this chair. Um, it actually comes in two colorways. You have a black one and a white one. I went with the white one because it kind of matches my setup. Most of my stuff on my computer is kind of white. So I decided to go with it. And personally to me, I think it looks much cleaner. Although I have no idea how clean it will stay because it is white. When it comes to assembling the chair, it's pretty much straightforward. It's not that difficult. Again, it took me like roughly 20 minutes or so to finish. I was just pretty excited. So I think it took me like 15 minutes, but it's not that difficult what i like about it it actually includes the allen key which needs to tighten the bolts and they also did include a bit a drill bit or i guess one of those bits so you can put into your power tool if you don't want to hand tighten it you can use your power tool and make it much faster which is always a nice inclusion personally i like that this chair is wide enough for me i'm actually kind of like a big dude so i sat on it and i was like wow there's actually some space and I don't feel constricted with the armrests are, you know, are attached. To me, it's comfortable. It is way better from what I was using. So definitely it is an upgrade. I like the fact that I'm able to lean back if I want to lean back to stretch or just, you know, just lean back and relax, which is something that's always a plus. Something I realized is that this chair seems to have a hidden compartment. When you install the chair, you'll see what I'm talking about. But what's cool about it is that I feel like you can put stuff in there and just keep it there, like storage. My best recommendation is not for you to put anything that may be heavy, because I feel like the material isn't that thick and it's on the thinner side, so it might break if you were to lean back. Again, that's just me. What I actually have in there is actually my PS4 controller. So whenever I want a game, I whip it out and start playing. Or if I want to put it away and get some work done, uh, put it back and it's safe and sound. Of course, I'm pretty sure you can come up with many ways to put in that chair. Again, only people who have this chair may know the secret compartment. But other than that, <laughs> you know, it is what it is. Something I must say that the downside is that the armrests are not adjustable. It's on a fixed state. So again, if you're the type of person who likes to adjust your, you know, armrest to be up to like your maybe, I don't know, it just depends. If you want to adjust your chair, your armrest, this is, does not have adjustable armrest. So that's something to keep in mind. But I don't think it's a deal breaker. I feel like if I were to slouch down a little bit, if I want to relax, yes, I could put my arms on, which is not bad. But if I, let's say I'm working, I don't know, or doing something and I want it to be at a specific angle, then that's a big no-no. I would recommend this chair for those who need a chair. From what I was using before, this is definitely 10 times better. It is comfortable. Like I said, the only downside is that you don't have adjustable armrests, but if you can live with that deal breaker, then this chair is for you. And also I like the fact that I can hide stuff behind my chair. Anyways, that's it for this video. I hope you guys did enjoy. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe, as well as don't forget the notification bell. And also follow us on our social media pages and don't forget to check us out at captainreview.com for more information. I'm Miguel, take care and stay awesome. Uh -huh.